Lesson 3.6, Inductive Reasoning. Short lesson here, but pretty important. Uh, inductive reasoning is not deductive. You've already done that. It's different. It's kind of just working things out, looking for patterns. Hopefully you noticed a pattern in previous work where I said if the degrees on a side is 10, then the degrees on the inside is 170, and they... 20 went 160, and so on and so on. They always added up to 180 because an external and an internal angle make a straight line, so they have to add up to 180 degrees. If it didn't, that's too bad. So find the patterns. Try them. Pause the recording and see if you can do all three on your own. If not, no big deal. And I'll do them now. I believe we're going to go with 48 and 96. And we got that because each one is multiplying by 2, the previous one. And over here, looks like we're going up by 4 each time. So on and so on. And here we go up by 1. Go up by 2, go up by 3, go up by 4, go up by 5, so on and so on. So, how do we figure these out? Look for patterns. And hopefully you've been doing that a fair amount earlier today. Uh, can you be sure you got them all right? Uh, answer is no. You, you're seeing a pattern, but you don't know for sure that it's going to continue. Sometimes the pattern's based on something else. It looks very clear and obvious, but it turns out to be something totally different. So that's inductive reasoning. Down here. You're looking for a pattern. And you think you get it, you're fairly confident, but you really aren't sure. You're inducing it. You're kind of figuring out. Deductive reasoning is what we've been doing. Ironclad. Clear, convincing, easy to follow, clear case. And I've given you a couple of really brutal ones. Let's see if you can do them. I'm not going to tell you the answers. I'll let you figure that out. Uh, but also wonder if you can recognize this pattern. See if you can figure that out. It's one of the most famous in the world. So figure it out. Great. If not, don't worry about it. This one is not based on numbers. I'll just give you that hint. A lot of people think they get it, and they don't. It's based on something besides numbers, which is meant to stump you, so good luck. This one, I would do this again and see if you recognize a pattern. If not, try it again. So that's it. Good luck. We're going to give you lots of practice on this and see if you can figure out how to do inductive reasoning, because you're getting pretty good at deductive reasoning.